Well, well remember this? This is that uh, Podocarpus. I think I got about three or four of these that needs pruning. I'm not going to go through the detail part. This is before and then we're going to have an after shot. So this is the Podocarpus. Well, <clears throat> remember my trip to San Diego? I saw that big one. Uh, kind of inspired me to go look for it. Well, it's been neglected. So anyway, I'll get to it. Okay, about 10 minutes later, this is what we have on the floor. And the tree is looking like this. Okay, so I guess I should turn this around so you could see. I'm not sure if this is the front or the other side. Well, anyway, I'll turn it around. I guess see this side could be the front. So anyway, uh, this is a very rough cut. Only 10 minutes or so to do what I did. Uh, but if this is going to be in somebody's private collection, uh, it should be done maybe two, three times a year. And then you look neat and crisp and you won't see those cut marks. So what you see here is some of the rougher cuts. So if you could stay on top of this, you won't have this look. And that's what I always say, do as I say and don't do as I do. So this was my first <laughs> pruning for the year. That's why I got out of hand. And we're already in the first week of August. Okay, here's another one in need of pruning badly. It's just going to be a very quick trim. All we're going to do is basically cut off these new shoots. That's it. So quick and easy. Exciting. Just a quick trim. Just needed that. Uh, of course somebody uh, can make this thing look much better if they detail it in and also not wait so long. Uh, I think in a year's time if they could stay diligently on it, it'll look great. Uh, I think the trunk could be exposed a little bit more and things like that. Uh, you know, one of the things I was thinking, this portocarpus used to be really popular in, in our area, especially in the Sacramento area. It seems like the, every Japanese American family had one in their front entry. Unfortunately, about 30 some odd years ago, we had this very deep freeze and all of them froze to death. So you don't see these very often. That's why I was amazed when I was in San Diego looking at that full-size tree, how huge they could get. But that's San Diego. It doesn't do that well when it gets really, really deep freeze. They'll take the regular cold, but not the deep freeze that we had that uh, long time ago. Okay, this is our third one. I think we only had three, right? Oh, I hope I didn't have any more than three of these. This is a tall one. And I think what I did was, I think I touched this up once. Because it was easier to get at this spot. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just prune it quickly and put it back. Well, I guess it's looking better. Yeah, I think because this was a handy dandy place to prune. I pruned the tops. <laughs> I didn't do the bottom because it was hard to get at. So I cleaned it out. Uh, and now it looks a whole lot better. So these were the three porter carpuses that we started taping, what, five years ago maybe? And it's should have made better progress if I stayed on top of it. But, you know, that's more my excuses. Just too busy. So anyway, uh, back to the Sacramento when everybody had one of these in the front entry. I think a lot of the plants go through, uh, f like fashion, you know, it's fashionable to be in. And I guess a bunch of people decided they wanted one in the front yard. 
uh, in this kind of style. And uh, 30 some odd years ago, we had the 100 year old freeze and they wiped it out. So these will take our weather here. Uh, seem to do better if it's slightly protected in summer uh, rather than being in full sun, a uh, slight protection. Uh, and other than the 100 year old freeze, these will take our regular cold. So hopefully, I don't get the 100 year freeze before I get these sold off. Anyway, uh, this is Hero saying goodbye. I'll see you again real soon in another chapter. So these were three portocarpuses being pruned in uh, first week of August that was more or less neglected as usual. <laughs>